In today's video, I'm going to talk about five things that I use as a checklist for each of my advertising campaigns. Whenever I want to create a new campaign, I look at this list and make sure I got everything on it. First thing on my list is campaign objective. And before I get into that, first of all, I need to understand how do I want to measure a success of my campaign. It depends on many different factors. What is my objective right now? Like, for example, do I need or do I want to collect leads? Do I want to generate traffic to my website? Do I want to sell a product? So it very much depends on what do I want to do. And then there is what is possible for me to do at current situation. Obviously, in ideal situation, whatever I want to measure is actually available to me, but it's not happening every time. Sometimes clients come to me without a landing page or without even a website and they want to collect leads or sell product. So you need to go with whatever is possible. You need to work with what you get and to see how you can measure success of your campaign. For example, if I will go to my website and I would like to take my homepage and to actually create a campaign using that homepage, what can I measure there? What kind of objective can it be? My homepage has a lot of different possibilities. There are different pages that can be measured separately. For example, my blog, my case studies, my contact form. Things that you can measure here are impressions, traffic, and engagement. These three things can be your campaign objective. Your campaign objective needs to be clear and it needs to be based on whatever is available to you right now when you create your campaign. Another thing on my checklist is targeted audience. The targeted audience are actually people who would like to purchase from you, who would enjoy your service, who are looking for your services and so on. But there are also people that are related to your advertising budget. It means that if you offering something that everyone can enjoy, you don't really have advertising budget to target everyone. And I see that a lot. You need to define your target audience and use just one group for starters. It doesn't matter what kind of budget you have, you need to start with one group first and then you can add other groups to testing period as well. So how do you define your target audience? First of all, you define them by demographic since it's very simple thing to do. You define their gender, their age, their location. And by location, it can be country, it can be city, it can be street as specific as you can go. Then you can use interests. Their interests can be different. Do they like to go outside, hiking, sport? Do they like to cook? What kind of websites do they visit or what kind of topics are they watching on TV? So you need to define their interest as well. Obviously, you don't know for sure, so you're just guessing what kind of interest will your target audience have. Then there is a behavior. How often do they purchase whatever you're selling? How do they purchase that? Or what kind of mobile phone do they use? Or are they connected to Wi-Fi? Or are they using a mobile internet? So all of these is related to behavior of your target customers. Another thing that we already talked about a little is your advertising budget. Your advertising budget should be enough to run your campaign at least for a couple of weeks. Every platform which you will choose to run your campaigns on will need time to learn what exactly 
do you want to reach? What kind of objective are you using? Or what kind of targeting should it show you add to? So it takes time. So you need to split your advertising budget at least two weeks. So it will be enough for you to test out your campaign. Then the fourth thing is timing. You need to consider everything. You need to consider how much time do you want to be in the air? If it will be relevant to stay so much time, if you're selling some kind of food, will it be good until the end of the month and so on. And you need to consider holidays in the country where you want to advertise. If you're advertising in USA, you need to consider the calendar in USA. If you advertise in another country, you need to consider their holidays as well. The price per internet traffic on different holidays is usually increasing. So you need to consider that. And the last thing that I would like to talk about is tracking and measuring. How do you actually measure your success? When we talked about campaign objective, I told you that if you're going to take my homepage, you have a lot of different possibilities. There are a lot of different calls to actions, pages, and so on. So how do you actually measure that? There is a thing that called pixel tag, actually a code that you use on the platform that you're advertising and you install that on your website. It depends what kind of platform your website is built on, either Wix or WordPress. You use Google Tag Manager to install that code. And then using Google Analytics, you can easily track what's going on on your website, what pages your visitors visit, or what campaigns are generating what traffic, what keywords are working and so on. So you definitely need to measure everything what is going on once you start your campaign to actually know if that campaign was successful or not. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Goodbye.